Oh, look at that little Yeti. I really want one. It's a companion. Okay, can I have it? No? No, I, I need something to feed him? Okay, where the hell do I get that? Need for Meat is a daily quest you unlock after you open up Hook, Line, and Sinker, Level 2. After getting this quest and clicking on the Mead Barrel, to get your courage up, of course, you're transported to the nighttime town. Which is descended upon by Frap Pot. I mean Barbarian Raiders. You know what? They destroy the town as much, so whatever. After a couple of waves, you start getting some help from the town's locals. Really? How long were they hiding in the houses before they jumped out? Once they figured out I could take all of this, they decided to come and help. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. After defeating the not so subtly named Thirsk Venture, really, guys? Really? You get 250 Black Ice and a fourth level Black Ice enchantment. Uh, the Black Ice is nice, but that's a real low level enchantment. Thanks, guys. However, 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 I hear through the grapevine that you can sometimes have a yeti spawn. If you defeat the yeti, you get a yeti treat, maybe. I hope it's not double range, that would suck. If you get the yeti treat, you get the yeti companion. And that's a cute little SOB, isn't he? I just want to pinch his cheeks. But this whole little quest line is fantastic for the fact that you get 250 black ice. To do your normal daily quest for Black Ice, the needed distractions, you need 300. So only mine a node once afterwards and you've done your daily for the day. Yay! No more grinding around looking for Black Ice nodes. What a relief. Well, I'm Matlin from Bad to Worst Gaming. If you have a review about this video, positive or negative, leave it in the comments section. Stay subscribed to keep up to date with our PTR coverage of Neverwinter's Curse of Icewind Dale. And... Bear with me for a bit here while I try to finish off the rest of the heroic quests. Matlin, signing off.